All right, so we've had a lot of people that have asked us how to fold together our laser cut Maker House robots, and I'm gonna run through exactly how it's done and uh, what you need to look out for. So first off, you wanna pop everything out of the design. You just wanna look for the where it's connected in the little spots, grab near nearby that and just give it a little tug. You'll be able to pop everything out just fine. All right, so there are your pieces. These are the ears, these are the arms, this is the foot and the head. And we'll start with that. So the first thing you wanna do is fold up every one of these tabs. So you should have something that looks like that. Next up, you fold in the larger squares. And you insert these tabs into the slot. If you find anything that's too stuck and you can't get it out, you may have to go over some of the lines with an X-Acto knife or a small razor blade. But for the most part, they should all pop out. So what I'm gonna do is keep rotating these larger panels and sliding in the arrow tabs right into the slots over the top. And you also wanna get this little antenna up. All right, so there's the beginning of your head. Next up, we'll go to the body. Just like the first one, the very first step is to push all the tabs up. Now there's two tabs here that don't have a little cut. These you do not fold up. Lots of times people will fold these ones up and that's gonna cause problems down the line. All the folds have small relief cuts on them. So if there's a small little sl uh, slice, you know that that's an area that you wanna fold. And just like the head, we're just gonna fold these tabs over and slide the arrows into the slots. Now you should have something that looks like this. There's a small, two little like tab things that are coming up on the top and two slots in the bottom and two slots on each side. Next up is the foot. This is probably the easiest one. You just fold that along Fold the little arrow up. And this tab right here, this square tab, you wanna fold up like that. And the arrow will go over the tab and into the slot. And then this will go into the bottom slots here on the body. So next up, we'll do the ears. So with the ears, You'll notice there's a small little slot on the top. That little slot here needs to go on the top of each ear if you want to use any of the accessories that come on the template. These have little tabs on the glasses and those will slide into these slots. First thing we're gonna do is fold up all these little tabs, but we're not going to fold the ones in the middle, just the ones on the corners. So it should look something like that. And then put your thumbnail there and push them up. It should look like two little people talking at a table. Now the biggest thing you wanna be careful for is this tab is really close to this slot and so this is gonna be a little weak. That's why I always put my thumbnail on the fold when I bend it to keep from damaging this tab. Because that tab gets bent it makes it really hard to insert into the head. And it'll look like a little plug. We'll take that, those holes right there, we'll slip them right down into those, like so, with the slot on the top towards the antenna. Next up, we'll do the arms, which will slip into these slots here. Now the arms have the smallest, most delicate little tabs. You definitely want to make sure that you go and remove all the material out of the slots first. If you try to fight it, it will get bent and it'll ruin your day. Now we're going to do the same thing. Fold everything up. Now the ones that you're not going to fold, if you notice, this little tab here does not have a little slice. So you do not want to fold that one at all. That's what's going to insert into the side of the body. 
All right. These little tabs, these little arrows, you're gonna fold over and carefully slide over this tab and into the slot. I find pushing it with your thumbnail really helps. Same thing here. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it just right. This is the part where most people have the most trouble. So, you should have something that looks like a little shoe. Now this, will slide into these slots at a downward angle like that. And the head slides down on top. And there you have it. There's your robot. If you want to keep his head from popping off, you can open up the top and fold those tabs that are down there over a little bit. And now secure everything down. So now the base robot's together and uh, he's ready to customize. You can draw on him, paint him. Uh, if you want to use him as a gift box, you can hide things in his head. But we also have some of the accessories. We're going to do this sunglasses one. And these are very delicate, so be careful when you're trying to pop them out. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and leave the lenses in now, but you can, if you're really careful, pop out the lenses. So they fold like that. And those slots on the tops of the ears, these arrows slide right into you. And with the ninja band, the Zorro mask, or whatever you want to use it for. This one has a couple of folds on each piece. What you want to do is line those, those little fold marks up with the corners of the head. The slots here will slide right down over the ears, and the knot on the back of the bandana will act as your tab. So you slide it through here, like that. Pull it through, and fold it over. There you go. Hey, if you ever have any questions or problems with folding your robot together, someone here at Maker House can always help you out too.